Welcome back to Rebuzz Plus, the Rebus Puzzle Challenge. It says Lime Games. Uh, the submitter on Newgrounds is Gaz Smith Games. It says it contains 30 more increasingly difficult puzzles. I don't remember if it went to 30. I just beat it, and I didn't keep track of the numbers, but I thought it was 25. Oh, well, we'll find out. So we're going to play. And um, most of these were really easy. Uh, two of them stumped me for quite a while. I had to... You get skips in this game. Let's view the tutorial. I'll talk about it as we come to it. A rebus. The, present, the representation of words by means of letters, numbers, or other symbols that are interpreted by their sound, placement on the page, etc. And an example. Boom. There are several ways in which rebus puzzle may be presented. Here is one basic example. Since the arrow is pointing to the first aid of the three, the answer is first aid. Try typing that into the box and pressing submit. So you type first aid, hit submit. And then it just goes straight here. So uh, I'll go up just like last time and explain how these are answered. And then we've got these skips. So now if you get stuck, uh, the author uh, went back and looked at the reviews on the first rebuzz and saw that people, when they got stuck, they wanted the option to skip ahead and try further puzzles. So now you have these skips. Um, the hints are more useless than ever. I didn't look at most of the hints because they were easy, but when I got stuck on a puzzle, the hints did not help. <laughs> so this one, we have the word once, and then this is the word moon, and it's blue. So once in a blue moon. Good thing that you can do in this game, if you hit enter, it goes to the next puzzle. Bad thing, you then have to click back in the box each time. And as I mentioned in the Escape from the Pirate Ship game, when I go from the keyboard back to the mouse, back and forth, back and forth, it's annoying. But we'll keep going. So here we saw talk, and then it shrunk down, and so that is a small talk. Let's look at the hint as we go. The word has gone smaller. Should be the word has gotten smaller, but oh well. Submit. I'm just going to use the mouse for that. Here the word hearted broke apart into two pieces, and so you have broken hearted. What is the hint? The word seems to have split in half. Then you would think split hearted. And in fact, that's one of the things I didn't like about this one. That should not have been a straight line cut. It should have been a jagged line so that it actually looked broken. All right, here you have the word breed and breed and they're crossed together. So it's cross breed. And our hint, the, word have, the words have crossed. Hmm. You know, I should show you the hint before I type in what the real answer is. So here, the word asleep keeps falling down. The word is falling. When you watch it and you it just does it the first time, you think fall asleep, but it's actually a falling asleep because it keeps falling. It's a continuous process. Here is where the split should happen. Does it say split? Yeah, the word has the word has spit. No, it's split personality. Here it makes sense because it's a clean split in half. You say split in half. So it makes sense. Here, our hint. There, See, that shouldn't cross over the puzzle. There are three words. The arrow is pointing to the third. And so our answer is third world. This one was really easy. One word is under another. You're under arrest. When you answer these, like when I was going through this puzzle uh, the first time, I kept answering it so literally so that I would say, you're under a rest. And I'm like, I have to go back and fix the spelling and make sure it's all correct. This is cool. Uh, if Sony PlayStation taught me anything, it's that this means ready. And our hint here is one red word and four others. Red E and then four anything. This one I wanted to do in the last puzzle. Two of the words of the last puzzle, the last game, two of the words are going to the left. That was a helpful hint. Too bad that this is a very easy puzzle and I didn't have to look at that hint. Two left feet. Here is the one that stumped me for a long time. In fact, it was only after I finally figured out what this was that I decided to record this because I didn't want to leave you hanging on one of the hardest puzzles in the game. <clears throat> Look at the presentation of the words. This is where I used my first skip, and I was happy that there was a skip button. Um, I didn't like this puzzle, but it's actually the downright stupid. As in, this particular puzzle is downright stupid. 
Oh, that was difficult. This one was easy. Let's look at our hint. The word isn't finished. It's not Swedish or Norwegian either. It's an unfinished symphony. This one I got stuck on for a few seconds, but then I figured it out. Look at the presentation of the hearts. You have heart and then two heart. So heart, two heart. This one I put in the wrong answer. Uh, it was obvious once I clicked the hint the first time. Look at the other cheek. And when you know it's an other cheek, you know that it's turn the other cheek. I kept thinking spin cheek, spin the right cheek. Here we go. There are a lot of C's under that word. So we must be travel over C's. Next. This one is not correct. This is an incorrect puzzle. The word ice looks to be a bit thin, and a bit should be two words there. So you would think skate on thin ice, but that's not the answer. Even though that literally says skate, it's skate. You have to write in skating on thin ice. And I think a commenter pointed that out, because I put skate on thin ice, and it's obvious that the answer is skate on thin ice. And someone uh, down in the comments said, you know, you got to put skating, and that's incorrect. And I agree with that person. This one's pretty easy. There are four of the same word. The words are going up for grabs. Four grabs going up. This one is obvious just from looking at it, and it's really nice that they gave you that first one correctly. The same word is mixed numerous times. Well, those are scrambled eggs. And here we go right back to a puzzle that we had before. We saw this with the split personality and broken heart. Now we have another set of words that are going up. So obviously it's up two, because there's two of them. No good. It's the exact same puzzle as before. Wow, that came over here. Two of the same word. Look at the presentation. Do you see how kind of useless the hints are as you go through here? They don't really help. This was cool. I like this puzzle. Two of the words are higher than the others. Here it's higher than the others, so it must be a hijack king. Hijacking. This one gave me pause for a little while. I think this was the other one where I had to skip it my first time through the game and then I figured it out the second time using the hint. Good old Mary loves her sums. We are sum Mary. You're summing two Marys together, so summary. I thought it was summaries, but it's not. It's just summary. This one was obvious right off the bat. Use the help of the colors to work out the puzzle. Okay, there's no colors at all. I mean, the diet might be slightly grayer than the black, but that's, that's obviously a wrong clue. There's no way that's the right clue. But this is a balanced diet. The diet is balancing on top of that fulcrum. Oh, this is the other puzzle. Um, Mary, summary I got with the hint. This one is the one where I had to go through the game and skip it and then come back. I remember this one now. Use the help of the colors to work out the puzzle. And here there actually is a little bit of help because these are obviously different color than that. So what do we have? There are four ones in my life. So four ones in my life. Now, I don't like to use the help of the colors to work out the puzzle, because I kept trying to figure out what gray won in my life, and that didn't make any sense. So this is, again, a poor hint. The hints are getting poor. This was cool. Fromate. It sounds so organic chemistry. It's like, oh, how, how come your corn is growing so tall? I added fromate to the fertilizer. It's a mixed-up word. This was actually cool. It's a... If you look at this, it's M-E-T-A-P-H-O-R. And so it is a mixed metaphor. Probably my favorite puzzle in this entire set. Oh, and see there. It ends at 24 puzzles. And it screws up the music and it opens up the other uh, website to Lime Games. So it causes all kinds of crap when you finish the game. Um, so that's obviously something that needs to be fixed next time. That should have an apostrophe. But we did it. That is Rebuzz Plus by Gaz Smith Games. Again, um, it's good, but there are still some things that need improving on it. We need to make the hints not suck. 
and then the end of that the end of the game there needs to be uh, fixed. I I like the skips. I used the skips my first time through because of that uh, two of those puzzles, which were really difficult. Uh, downright stupid was insane to figure out. And then the hint on for once in my life was misleading, saying use the colors, and so you start focusing on color rather than the differentiation of the ones from life, which is obvious from the beginning. So, yeah, bye-bye.